you, so let's go check out this week's broadcast. Welcome back, Falcons. Come join our show to get your NFL season preview. Welcome back, Falcons. Tune into my show to see what was your favorite thing to do over the summer. Hello, Farrago Falcons. I'm your new host, Eric Ramirez, for College and Career Ready. Hey, Falcons. This week, we're going to be talking about the snap specs. So skip over to my show to find out about these cool new shits. Hey, Falcons. This year, I'm going to be host. So skip to What's Up with Farrago to learn the dates. We hope you all had an amazing summer. And I'm your new host, Amber Romero. And I'm your new co-host, Lizeth Velasquez. Hey, Lizeth, I heard that we have a new teacher here at Fairgrove. I wonder what her kids are learning Youch! in her classroom. I don't know, but let's go find out what your new host of College and Career Ready with Eric Ramirez. Hello, Fairgrove Falcons. I'm your new host, Eric Ramirez, for College and Career Ready. Now let's head over to learn from this one new teacher. Good morning, Mrs. Robin. Good morning. We are glad to have you and for your time today. Shall we get started? Sure, definitely. What kind of colleges or universities did you go to? So after high school, I went to UC Santa Cruz and I um, got my Bachelor of Arts in Psychology. It was a very beautiful campus um, in the forest overlooking the ocean. And then for graduate school, I went to UC Berkeley, which is across um, the San Francisco. And there I received my master's in um, developmental education, and then I received my teaching credential from there. Mm -hmm. What kind of schools did you teach at? So after graduating from Berkeley, I started teaching at a school named Patterson Elementary, which is in the city of Vallejo, which is even further north from the San Francisco um, Berkeley area and that was a very nice school for just one year and then I went to, came back to LA, to Southern California and I taught three years at um, El Sereno Elementary and then from there I went to Workman Elementary and I taught there for 15 years and I taught pretty much all the grade levels at that school. How did you get interested in teaching math, science, and STEAM? I became a math, science, and STEAM teacher because I love um, all the subjects, but I think it's also a great opportunity for women um, to get into those fields because there's not a lot of women um, that are studying those topics and then also have careers in them. And so I would like to be a role model to other girls um, at this school and then help them achieve that goal. How did you get interested in coming to Fairgrove? So I became interested in teaching here at Fairgrove primarily because when my son started here um, in kindergarten, I was very impressed by what the, the work that the teachers were doing as well as the amazing work that the students were producing. And I just knew from that moment that I wanted to teach at this school. Thank you for your time today and I hope to see you again. That's all for this week, Farragher Falcons. Now let's head over back to the studio with Amber Romero and Lizette Vazasquez. Thanks, Eric. Do you know what Snapchat spectacles are? What? Snapchat spectacles. No, but let's go check out All About Tech with your new host, Ray Vitato. Hey, Falcons. I'm your new host for All About Tech, Ray Vitato. This week we'll be learning about the cool new snap specs. These glasses are the first pair of glasses to have a built-in camera. These glasses have a hefty price tag of $130. These glasses can film for up to 10 seconds. The glasses have a large camera that can be easily seen and light up when filming. The glasses work in sync with the Snapchat app, so after you film with the glasses, it will then be placed on your phone. The glasses film at a 115 degree wide angle, so the video can be viewed in both vertical and horizontal. A cool fact about these glasses is that the case is also a charger. Now let's watch a quick demo video on these glasses. They're $129 and they came out of a vending machine. These are Snapchat spectacles. So let's take a look. The packaging is really cool. The case acts as the charger for your spectacles and it's actually really easy to use. They're lightweight when you put them on, which I wasn't expecting, and pairing them to your device is as easy as opening up the Snapchat app and looking at your snap code with spectacles. Once you've done that, you can click the button to take 10 second snaps. If you click it before the 10 seconds is over, it'll continue your video. If not, that 10 seconds of footage gets uploaded to your memories in Snapchat and you can then publish them as you choose. One of the coolest features of Snapchat spectacles was something I didn't expect. 
Once you record your 10 second footage, you can view it in either landscape or portrait mode and it will be beautifully centered no matter what. That's a great feature. Now let's head on back to the studio with Amber Romero and this is Velasquez. Thanks, Ray. Hey Amber, what was your number one <laughs> hey! favorite thing to do over the summer? Playing sports. <laughs> Me too, let's go see what Weekly Pool has for us this week with your new host, Richard Rodriguez. What's up Falcons, I'm Richard Rodriguez, your host for Weekly Pool. I hope you guys are ready to learn new things this year. Now it's time to see what was your number one thing to do over the summer. Favorite thing to do over the summer is play soccer. Baseball. Play football. Football. Go to the beach. Zip lining. Play basketball. Go swimming. Favorite thing to do in the summer was hang out with my brother. Football. Yeah. Okay. Now here are your results. Sports got 60%, beach got 10%, zip lining got 10%, swimming got 10%, and hanging out with brother got 10%. And the winner is sports with 60%. For this week, Falcons, now let's head back to the studio. Do you know what teams are going to be playing? <coughs> no, do you? No, but let's go check out sports teams with your new hosts, Joshua Juarez and Devin Rose. <laughs> What's, What's up, Falcons? We're your new host for Sports News. My name is Joshua Juarez. And my name is Devin Gross. Today we'll be talking about the NFL season preview. So let's head over to the NFL. The Chargers lost to the 49ers by a score of 23 to 13. And the Raiders lost to the Seahawks by a score of 17 13. The Rams lost to the Packers by a score of 24 to 10. I wonder who's going to be the number one team this year. I know, right? Well, that's all for the NFL this week. Now let's head over to the MLB. The Dodgers lost to the Diamondbacks by a score of 13 to zero. The Angels won the Athletics by a score of 11 to nine. They played today at five o'clock against the Texas Rangers. I wonder who's going to be the number one team this year. Now let's head back to the studio with Amber Romero and Lizette Velasquez. Thanks, guys. We'll be back, Virgo, after this commercial break. Where's our money? You owe us money. Oh, I forgot at home. I'll bring it tomorrow. You better also be in a world of pain. Hey, get away from that kid. Both of you come to me to the office. Bullying is not acceptable. I could expel you both right now because bullying is not a laughing matter. But I'm going to warn you and I'm going to suspend you. Alright, both of you boys need to apologize to Aaron. Sorry. Alright, both of you boys need to go away that front for your parents. You shouldn't have done that. Where's our money? Oh, I forgot. I'll bring it tomorrow. Okay, go for it this time. Oh. 
Hey, let me see those answers. No, I don't want to get written up. Come on, man. I'm having trouble on the test. What's wrong? Jose is trying to cheat on the test. Thanks for telling me the truth. Important dates. Now let's learn this week's dates. It's called Friday Fest, and we—if you don't know what it is—we have a special interview with Miss Carbajal to explain. Good evening. What is Friday Fest? Friday Fest is an after-school class for about an hour where students have the opportunity to make up any work that they did not turn in during the school week. What do you do there? Friday Fest is where students make up any work that they did not complete during the, the week. Friday Fest will always be in room 16 or room 17 depending on what assignment the student has to complete. So if they didn't complete math, it'll be room 16 with Miss Millard. If they didn't complete uh, English language arts, it will be with Miss Elder in room 17. If they didn't complete science, it's with Miss Millard in room 16, uh, social studies room 17 as well. How do you get invited to the festival? The way you get invited to Friday Fest is by not completing your homework. Your teacher will put your name on a list. My office aides will collect the folders Friday afternoon and then I'll create the list and then send it out to all teachers Friday during six period. Thank you for your time. Thank you. We don't have any new events, but we do have a new way for you to check your grades. It's called Grades and you could use it using Aries. First, you need an Aries account an Aries student ID, a Gmail, a phone or tablet, and the Grades app. You need to make or have an Aries account. Then you go to your App Store or Play Store and download the Grades. Download it and open it when it's finished. Once it's open, you want to fill in the information. The school district is Hacienda La Puente Unified and fill in your email and password. It's that easy. Now you can see your grades. If you don't have an Aries account, look up on Google HLP USD Aries. You want to click the first one, Aries Portal, and click Create Account. You want to fill in the information. Type in the email you're going to use and a password that you won't forget. Now go to your email and look for an email from Domo Reply. Future David, it's actually do not reply. I just never learned how to read. Now let's go on with the show. Now click on that email and click Confirm Email. Now go back to Aries and type in the email and password that you use. Now go to the office and ask for your student ID. Now rewind to see how to use it with grades. Now let's head back to the studio with Amber and Lizette. Thanks, David. I wonder what the weather's gonna be this weekend. Me too, it's been hot all week. Let's go check out weekend weather with your new host, Christian Morales. What's up, Falcons? I'm your new host, Christian Morales, for Week in Weather. This week I'll be telling you your weather forecast so you can learn your week in weather. So let's hop into the Doppler radar. Today it will be sunny with a high 86 and a low 64. Tomorrow it will be sunny with a high 87 and a low 66. Sunday will also be sunny with a high 90 and a low 68. Monday will also be sunny with a high 89 and a low 68. Tuesday is going to be sunny as well with a high 88 and a low 64. Well, that's it for this week, Fargo. Remember, stay in the shade and drink more than one okay. glass of water. Let's head back to the studio with Amber Romero and Lizette Velasquez. Thanks, Chris. 
Let's go check out Song of the Week with your new host, David Alcantar.